Oh uh, yeah, you want it tight, real tight, and then yeah, just keep keep it tight. Keep it tight, right? <laughs> Yeah, nice. So I think this is the fifth time I cut it down. It's pretty full now. 309. First load and only load because the brush dump's closed today. And we're gonna negative rig it onto itself, you know? Like right now, it's helpful and annoying because it's hanging on to me, but I'm also hanging on to it. No roof hitting. Okay, lower it down. So on this day, we were taking out this big, long lateral limb over the fence there and cleaning up the rest of this um, large willow tree. Yeah. Um, we did generate quite a bit of material, as you can see, even more than this uh, big big pile at the end here in this yard and a pile in the other yard. Most people can't even imagine doing any sort of tree work without a chipper, but uh, I think it's totally doable and in some ways a lot easier. Unless you have a really nice expensive chipper, they tend to be kind of a pain. I also find chippers to be quite dangerous, not only because you could get sucked in, I guess, worst case scenario, but you can just get slapped. So, pile up the brush, drag it to the trailer, and pile it in the trailer. And then, 